Hi, everyone. This is Chris Kuzmal again. We're now going to be introducing the specific syntax of Urban logic. Urban logic is relational logic, but we add something called function constants. For example, we might have f and g as function constants that we added to our, uh, our, our relational logic. It would be a, an additional set. And each of these function constants, similarly to relations, have arity. And here in our example, we're going to say that f has an arity of two and g has an arity of one. That just means that f takes two arguments, conceptually, and g takes one argument. A function constant is a term. Okay, we, that's the terminology, the term analogy we use. Here I've sort of highlighted an invocation of a functional expression, okay? Functional expression, the whole yellow thing, including the orange thing inside of it, that's a functional expression. It has a functional constant, which is F. It has delimiters, which are those open parentheses and commas that you see and the closed parentheses. And it has arguments, which is to say A is one argument, G of B is a second argument, and B is also an argument. B is an argument to G. And this arises, from this arises the recognition that an argument for a function can be, excuse me, an argument for a functional expression can be a functional expression. And here we get an explosion, okay? And so if we have a vocabulary that has a single object constant A and a single unary function constant F, and a single unary relation constant R, so a really simple vocabulary, really, the Erbron base consists of these sentences, R of A, R of F of A, R of F of F of A, R of F of F of F of A, R of F as many times as you want of A. In other words, the Erbron base is unbounded. The Erbron base is infinite, okay? And so a truth assignment on an infinite base has to happen. And that's difficult to write down, but sometimes we can. And I can tell you from the speaker notes, an example is where you know that there's a finite number of the uh, assignments will be either true or false. You could write down those and then say all the rest are false or the other way around. So, that means that other than, however, other than having an infinite base that we have to deal with, Arbron semantics is the same as for functional logic, okay? But evaluation therefore becomes complex beyond reason. We have to depend on any number of elements of the base that could be an infinite, a universal quantifier explicitly says that we have to use every element of, a, of an infinite base or a potentially infinite base. Existential quantifiers may require that we examine all but one element of the base, which is still, practically speaking, infinite. So evaluation is tricky, okay? And to do satisfaction, you have to do even more than one evaluation as a rule. And since each individual evaluation is, 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 is very difficult, uh, we have a huge problem in determining satisfaction for Urban logic by doing direct evaluation but we can do it by transforming the sentence itself using the rules of inference. And that's what we call a proof. The proof transcends infinity. On our next occasion, we're going to show that their brand logic is not compact.